Well, welcome to my grinding station. Why is it a grinding station? Well, as you know, we have a lot of eggshells from our from Judy making the protein sparing modified fast. So all these eggshells are from the last couple loaves she's made. She puts this in the oven and it cooks them slightly just to get rid of the bacterial stuff. And they sit around for a while until Carl takes care of it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna take care of this because we, I grind it down and I mix it with our coffee grinds over here. And we put that in our garden. So I'm gonna take you through those steps. First, I'm gonna grind it down, and then I'm gonna coffee grind it down, and then I'm gonna mix it with the coffee grinds we have, we're coffee drinkers, and I'm gonna put that in the garden. And it's really a, a great fertilizer. It's more than just calcium, by the way. It's just really superlative. And there's one level more I could go, but I'm not that uh, eager to do that, is I could take all of this and put it in vinegar, and it would actually pull out a lot of the minerals and make it much more bioavailable for the garden. So we'll take it through one step at a time. First one is, let's do some grinding. Okay, so first we're gonna take the shells and we're gonna put them in the mortar and pestle. So this is a nice uh, granite, I assume, mortar and pestle. We use it a lot for herbs and everything else. So I'm just gonna crush them down. Seems pretty crude. And I have a lot to do, but I'm just gonna bring this down, crush this. Just need these to be kind of small enough so I can put it into a coffee grinder. That's my objective here. So here's what that looks like. <clears throat> so I'm gonna finish up all of this and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with a coffee grinder. So we'll take you into the next step. So I gotta get to work on this. Be back in a second. If you've ever heard the expression it was like walking on eggshells around somebody, delicate emotions or whatever. This certainly makes you think of that, that you really have to very carefully crush the eggshells, otherwise it'll make a bigger problem, but how easy it is to crush the eggshells. Okay, so this is the last of the mortar and pestle ground eggshells. We put it into the coffee grinder or spice grinder. And then it's gonna make a bunch like that. So here's what it looks like coming out of the, the grinder. And you know the smell, the smell is, is like burnt flesh, but more, it smells like when you have to get your cavity drilled. I haven't had a cavity drilled probably for 40 years, but that smell of a drill going through your tooth is what this smells like. Interesting that. So now I'm just gonna mix these two together, little by little with a spoon and make sure it all goes together. So now I'm just mixing all this together. It kind of looks like chocolate, doesn't it? Try to get it somewhat even. It's not a real science project but it's nice to have these go together. So if you're really focused on making the eggshells as bioavailable for your garden as possible, what you would do is you would put vinegar in all of that or this into the vinegar and let it stand there for a couple days and that would make it much more, uh, all the minerals independently available. Um, I'm not that eager. I think grinding it down is good enough because we do this pretty much on a weekly basis. So if you can imagine, 52 of these plus 52 of these, and this is actually under a week's worth, in one garden, that's a lot of eggshells. So Judy was saying for that tray was a couple dozen times, four. yeah, four dozen. Anyway, that's a lot of eggshells, don't you think? Um, in the course of a year put into your garden. And so I think since you have such an overwhelming amount of eggshells and coffee that it it's good that it's not immediately available. You know, having it, it won't be sustained release, but it won't be immediately available and it can work its way into the soil. And uh, over the years, <laughs> we're gonna have more bins, so it's not all gonna be in the same place, but it will make for a great soil that really changes things completely by adding these two things together. And so what I like about the coffee going with the eggshells is that it tends to make it so it's just not so intense. 
you know, it's, it's not all eggshells, it's certainly not all coffee. Um, and there could be, what we used to do, actually, we used to put our coffee in a separate bin and it'd be a little wet and it would ferment and break down. And then after a, a couple of weeks of that, we put that into the garden. That gets kind of smelly. <laughs> and we actually now live in uh, a place that uh, has an HOA, so I'm not quite sure if it's allowed to do that. But So this is the more drier version of that. But you could do a number of things of putting this together. Okay, next stop, the garden. Before I uh, dump off the coffee and the eggshells, I wanted to introduce you to part of our garden. Here's uh, some sage we're getting growing. These are just uh, some bee balm back here. And we have over here, we have some cilantro starting this year. There's last year's cilantro over there. And over there is last year's year number two for our elderberry. And coming down this way, this is some of basil that we actually resurrected from what we used, bought from the grocery store in the winter and just planted it out. And so that's come back. This is some basil we were starting from seeds. These are all cilantro this year that we've started from seeds. Uh, basil, a few plants that we ordered, that's from the grocery store. And here's about 10 different varieties of elderberries that are getting their first year, started from stems. This is their first year. They'll obviously be transplanted for next year because they'll be very crowded, but they're already blooming. It shows the difference in the variety. But anyway, what I wanted to show you, this is the coffee. So this is the coffee and the eggshells combined and just put this out over the garden. So can you imagine doing this weekly for, it's been in this particular garden right here, it's been at least a year and a half. So that's a lot of eggshells. That's a lot of coffee um, that has really made this quite the bed. I mean, there's great earthworms here. The robins show up and get this. Um, anyway, I'm gonna use this in the various beds that we have, but I thought you'd really appreciate seeing how what we add and what we do with our uh, eggshells left over from all that pan, uh, protein sparing modified fast bread that Judy makes. So until next time, take care. I just want to say if this is something you're really interested in, as I am, you might be really interested in following some of these videos. Take care. Till next time.